captain's log, date October 14th, 1943. Well, this is it. The sea conditions for a port infiltration are favorable. The plan is to slip into Truck Lagoon on the surface, hit the targets, and run before the Japanese have a chance to hit us back. Essentially what Prane did to the Brits in 1939. I have to say, I'm extremely nervous about this mission, and so is my crew. This very well could be the last journey for the good old USS Trout. Alright, welcome back everybody, Wolfpack here. To another exciting installment of Silent Hunter 4, we are currently under attack by a group of Japanese destroyers. We are crash diving. We're off the coast of Truck. I was scouting around. Let's see actually where are these fellas. Uh, 083. Yeah, there's some splashes. Yeah, they're way out there on the horizon. I thought we were well out of visual range, but evidently not. Uh, we actually got hit in the stern back there. Alright, our decks are awash. Let's go ahead and go to the periscope and see what's going on here. Uh, it's a pair of two. There's one out there, and there's a second one somewhere else. I'm surprised they actually picked me up. Uh, I guess, yeah, there's a second one. I'm guessing they are probably equipped with radar. Alright, we are currently crash diving, so let's go ahead and lower the scope and get our damage control team onto the aft torpedo room. So yeah, all of our torpedo tubes are damaged and a bulkhead, so... Looks like they have the priority straight. The bulkhead is definitely first. Uh, let's level out at 100 feet here. What a wonderful way to start the episode. I was just scouting out around truck because of the uh, the weather situation. The wind is currently still at like 15 meters per second, so it's still very choppy up top. Uh, so I was just, you know, scouting around. I saw these escorts, and I was keeping tabs on them on the surface, and then BAM! A shell slammed into the stern of my... Uh, my ship, my boat, excuse me, not a ship, boat. Uh, so now we have two Japanese destroyers sicked on us, how wonderful. And probably air cover <laughs> will be uh, inbound momentarily. Hopefully my damage control team can't handle this. Yeah, they're pretty maxed out. We got, these guys are a little shaken up. They're not too bad though. They're a little hurt. They will be all right though. So we can go ahead and drop down speed here. I'll stay at 100 feet for the time being. Um, we are at about 20% hull integrity. Yeah, they're both closing in. God damn, this is not good. Uh, let's turn right towards them. And go to periscope depth real fast. Let's see if we can uh, maybe get a down the throat shot here. And we got that looping looping bug of course all right so we'll swing around really fast all ahead two-thirds let's really do get this quickly since they are closing at oh they're probably going about 15 knots if not quicker all right we are currently at periscope depth up scope and let's take a look oh boy that creaking bug is going to get annoying very quickly if it doesn't stop soon all right Oh, they, they're real destroyers, too. They're not those little tugboats that we've been dealing with lately. Yeah. Oh, uh, slower. Down scope. Hmm. I don't know if I should try a down the throat shot. Alright, let's wait for them to close in. Alright, up scope. Let's take another look. Looks like they're not coming directly for me. They're kind of coming. Oh. <laughs> oh, right on cue, game. Oh, how I love you. All right, let's go ahead and set this up here. Where's... We'll shoot tube number six here, because that's our Mark 18. It looks like he's zigzagging. Uh, tube six, all right. Lock on, range. We'll shoot at about a 1,000 yards. Uh... Actually, we'll shoot at probably around 700 yards. Set speed 10 knots. Mark. Well, they're not pinging us, so they probably they might not have a sonar. Which will definitely come in handy here. 
if they do not. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to really be able to get a shot off here. Interesting. Alright, this is futile, I think. I think it would just be a waste of a torpedo. Alright, our tubes are repaired, however. That guy is probably going on a depth charge run, I feel like. So you want to start rolling? Let's see if he's going to roll. So it looks like he's going on an attack run. He is really just hauling ass. And the other guy's just listening. And we've probably gotten ourselves into quite a pickle here. And it's very stupid to stay here and watch them. But I'm just curious to see. I should probably dive down. Yeah, because he is mighty close. What, 300 yards? Um, more like 800 yards. Going pretty much parallel to our course. Alright. Well, I've had enough of that scope down. Let's go to 150 feet. That should suffice. And make sure that bulkhead is repaired. Yeah, we have one more torpedo tube to repair. It's almost repaired too, so I'll go ahead and let them continue to repair that. And hopefully... It does not end in our demise. Let's see. Looks like this guy's swinging around wide, and this one might be closing in on us. Let's take a listen. Take a listen. Well, this has been an interesting development. Oh, it looks like he's starting. That one that was just kind of sitting there is really putting it on the coals now. That's great. Yeah, they're both moving quickly. Wonderful. Let's see, what kind of destroyers do we think they are? Let's see if I can remember it from my memory. They were two stacked, right? Do 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 do. No, nothing like that. They had smaller guns. Rinky dink little kamikaze? Possible. Yeah, it's probably one of these here. Mankazi. Or a Momi. I'm probably butchering those names. Yeah, something like that there. Let's use some time compressions here and see if they're even going to get a beat on us. Let's go ahead and turn and get on our, our course. Yeah, they're all they're about 200 yards out or 2,000. Excuse me. I don't think they're gonna really detect us. Yeah, they think we're way over we're over here. Hey, so that works out pretty well. We just uh. <laughs> all right, follow our course. Let's get out of here. Let's get at All right, so they're in our baffles now. So hopefully they don't pick us up. Uh, we'll find out real soon. I'll continue out around truck. I'm waiting for the weather to calm down a little bit before I enter here. Uh, like I explained in the last episode, the waves will expose my periscope fairly easily, and I'd rather not have my conning tower and scope exposed whenever I'm in here. I think with coastal batteries and everything, that is just a recipe for disaster. So, secure from battle stations, we'll continue onwards, and I'll keep you guys updated as we close in here. And our old friends have returned. I'm just sitting out here kind of by the entrance and they They're heading north northeast. I don't know if they picked me up. I'm guessing they did Yeah, they certainly did. All right. Well, I was just sitting here. Obviously the weather conditions are prime. I'm just kind of waiting to till dusk to enter the lagoon and These guys were pretty far off and then they raced over here. So anyway, Let's go ahead and all head one third. Rig for silent running and. Rig for silent running. All right, 
Uh, Both engines ahead to fill it. Come here, you bastard. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I'm tired of playing around with these guys. I think it's the same group of escorts. Let's uh, kick our rudder around and head straight for them. All right. Okay, and we are going to use tube six, lock on target, mark that. Mark, he's more or less coming right for us. <clears throat> Turn on position keeper. We'll shoot tube six with a contact influence pistol. Torpedo depth. What is the depth of 9.8 feet? We'll set it to nine. Or, yeah, let's just set it to 10 feet. Hopefully, it detonates because this is going to be bad. All ahead, two thirds. Let's get him over here. Go ahead and open tube number six as well. Come on. Come and get me. Let's adjust my course a couple of degrees. Let's prepare to crash dive as well. We have two of them. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I hate this already. There we go, perfect. All right. Tube number six, Mark. One more range reading, what? I say he's about 800 yards out. Mark that in, speed. Probably be better if I just set the speed to zero, huh? What does that look like? Yeah, open tube six. Shit, this is bad already. <sighs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. It's probably going three knots. Mark. All right, tube six, fire. All right, crash dive. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> if we get him, this is going to be awesome. Alright, here we go, boys. Wow, that torpedo's racing ahead. It's going faster than I thought. Oh, no! Oh, that's so close. Alright, so... Oh, it might detonate. No, it's too far for a detonation. Well, unless, I guess the uh, the good thing is he didn't see us. Alright, let's dive down to 200 feet. That was close, though. That was closer than I was expecting. See, the, the best time to do that is when they're actually on their attack run and heading straight for you. But this guy was zigzagging and such. That made it a little more difficult. Um, Alright. He's coming right over us now. Let's turn. Passing, Passing a thermal layer. layer just now. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, he's dropping charge of shit. Battle stations. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just getting myself into all sorts of trouble this episode. That's okay. I think it's fun. I like a challenge. Alright, rudder and midships. Oh, boy. Oh, shit! Okay, it's not so fun when he actually hits us. <laughs> that was a wake-up call. Oh god, that actually hurt pretty bad, huh? Okay. Oh, that one's pretty close, too. Level out, 224 feet, please. All ahead, one-third. keep clicking this button and it kind of glitches out. Alright, anyway. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That just really messed up my whole integrity. We're at 28 whole damage. Jesus. That is not good at all. Oh, 
Okay, we're okay though. Um, oh, we have a, another one coming in for a pass. Let's change course. Let's head north. Yes, sir. Returning to course, sir. We decided on a course. New course, sir. I think he's coming right over us. No, he's not. He's kind of turning away. I think the poor weather conditions definitely helped us out the last time because now they really they really got a beat on us. But I think we'll be able to evade just okay. Wow, that one depth charge hit kind of screwed me up though. I'm getting a little cocky. Honestly, I'm really just interested to see how the AI uh, is with this new mod. Everyone's hyping up and saying they're dangerous, so I'm just going out and provoking them. Okay, we have one closing in just now. 300 yards out. Yes, sir. Sweep it. Follow him. Increasing speed closing is beginning his attack run, I bet. Moving slow, okay. All ahead, flank, rudder, and midships. Stop our turn. And yeah, let's go deeper. Right to crush depth. Yep, he's dropping. Hold on tight, boys. Yeah, I, I really, <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. That was so stupid. I'm surprised they picked me up in the first place because, like I said, I was just right out here and they were, you know, patrolling the coast and they made a beeline right for me. And I was just sitting there like a hole in the water. I'm kind of glad because, honestly, I've been getting off a little easy with these uh, Japanese destroyers. All right. Rattled around a little bit, yeah. That's okay, that's okay. All ahead one third and we will rinse and repeat until they are gone um, I will probably infiltrate truck tonight I'm sure they're all gonna be on high alert but maybe they'll think we sunk or something that we can always hope that's the case so hey well I'll keep going on and I'll get back to you guys whenever uh, we get hit by a depth charge pattern or something Well, the destroyer has obviously lost us and we escaped, and now we are, it is about almost 12 o'clock, it's uh, 20 hundred hours, and we are entering Truck Lagoon. I've all stopped here. As you can see, there is the sandbars protecting the mouth of the lagoon, and dead ahead is our foe. I don't see anything just yet, but we do have a plethora of radar contacts at the moment. As you can see, there is a formation of ships here, um, and it looks like a task force <laughs> uh, because you have a ring of what I presume to be destroyers, and then you know some sort of capital ships. It even says a task task force stationary. We have two destroyers here that seem to be patrolling this these waters here. Uh, I presume they're destroyers, but. Uh, that is just a guess. So that is the current situation. I'm going to go ahead and enter through this main channel here. Uh, let's go in like so. All ahead one third. Stay on the surface for the time being. Let's actually go decks a wash here. And hopefully we don't get detected, right? Right. Uh, I didn't see any shore based guns yet. There could be some, of course. You never know. Are these guys turning around? I need to keep an eye on them. They're the ones I'm really worried about. I think they might be our old friends that are fiddle farting around. Who knows, though? I am worried about another depth charge attack, especially in these waters here. There is not very much deep water to play with. Only 2,500. Shit! You gotta be kidding me. Dive to periscope depth. Periscope depth. 
350. Looks like that guy was coming straight for me. I don't see anything though. Alright, let's go ahead and dive quickly. All ahead flank. Let's really get under now. I'm surprised he uh, picked me up. These guys must have radar. They have to. Alright. Diving now. Alright, I'll head slow, rig for silent. Running. Alright, and make my depth 100 feet. 90 feet, actually. Hopefully there are no mines in this little channel. Oh boy. <laughs> oh god. Already, wow. Okay. I can handle this. No pinging or anything, right? We have another one? No, just a three. Just a three. I can live with that. Maybe he was just... Yeah, he was just going this way. Oh man, that scared the bejesus out of me. Is he just exiting the channel? <laughs> oh my god. That scared the hell out of me, folks. Oh, but we do have two more closing in. Of course we do. Of course we do. That is a little scary. And we have another one. Wow, four destroyers. One of them's in my baffles, so... And where'd they all go? Why can't you hear them? Yeah, that is a warship. Just mark everything as a warship. Alright, here we go. Is he... Is my, uh... Sonar operator having a stroke? Like... <laughs> oh, stationary. Oh, that's nice. Protecting the mouth here. Alright, so we should be closing in on the task force. I can probably come up to periscope depth now, do you think? Right, let's get a little further in while I'm staying at this uh, level. I hope we don't run into a mine. Okay, we have another warship. Oh, there's quite a few warships in here. I guess I'm not surprised. Alright, let's go to periscope depth now. Oh, boy. Let's see, all torpedoes are loaded, correct? Yes, they are. I reloaded a, another Mark 18, just in case. Alright, so we're definitely in periscope depth. I guess now's a good time as any to take a peek. Up scope. Alright, here's Truck Lagoon. Let's do a quick scan. Just to be sure there's no destroyer right near him. Whoa, okay, hello. Alright, so that is definitely going to be where we're looking. Let's see what we got here. Quite a few destroyers and carriers and that. That is the Yamato. Or the Misashi. Not too sure which one. I don't think it really matters. Yamato class battleship. I don't know. I'm actually really surprised to see that. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Um. Hmm. They're all blinking lights. That is a little concerning. Well, I suppose there's only one real target here. The 6,400 ton uh, behemoth of a battleship. <laughs> uh, super battleship. Let's go ahead and go to it. I don't think anything else even comes close to it here. Like, even if we sunk two of these fleet carriers. Yeah, it's just bananas. There we go. There it is. Oh, 63,200 tons, according to the game. And we caught her in port. Okay, there's two... Is that the shore moving? 
No, they're all stationary. Everything is stationary. Okay, wow, well... I suppose that is definitely a target. Let's go ahead and lock onto her and get her position here. She is right there, and it looks like she's kind of heading in like this way, so I need to get a cor plot a course there accordingly. Now, I'm sure once I my torpedoes slam into our hull, all hell is going to break loose in here, especially with what it was that ring of destroyers, at least 10. So, I don't know if they're, like, operational. I don't know if they will mobilize once, you know, shit starts hitting the fan. I suppose we'll find out. We'll find out really quick, too. Alright. So this is good. This is working out just fine. Okay, we have that warship that we need to worry about. Man, they're all just crowding them out the entrance here. That is going to be an issue whenever we uh, make our plans to leave. But uh, this is probably going to take all of my torpedoes. If not another f salvo, I might have to reload. All right, man your battle stations. Okay, we are very close. Oh yeah, we are extremely close. All these destroyers. I do not think they are. They probably have skeleton crews. Oh boy. Okay, nothing bearing down on me just yet. Lock on target. Alright. Yamato class. Pretty easy to identify. I think this is the Yamato. I do not think it is the Musashi. Alright, mark range, AOB. A little steep. A little steep, like a 100 degree angle. Sure. Speed. Zero. Mark. Turn off in position keeper. Alright, we want to set all of our torpedoes to high and contact influence. Or contact. We want to shoot with contact pistols. I do not want to risk using our shoddy magnetic pistols on such a prize so let's see what's the draft 30 feet 35 feet we'll set torpedo depth to 30 feet high contact oh i keep pressing contact influence 30 feet uh, hopefully these don't just bounce off And tube 6 is a uh, Mark 18, so only set the one speed setting. Let's double check. Oh, forgot the speed on that guy. Alright, let's go ahead and see our solution. There we go, perfect. All right, opening all torpedo tube doors. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm a little worried about this, folks. It's almost midnight, We've got an hour till midnight. An hour and 20 minutes, I guess, to be exact, but. All right. Let's turn this boat around. Rapid it, rapidly, please. And let's set up our stern torpedo tubes, our stern torpedoes, since we'll probably need another salvo. Uh, I'm debating... Oh, they're running straight for them. Beautiful. That is a beautiful sight. Alright. Oh, that's perfect. It has a two-minute running time. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that is so beautiful, though. This is going to be awesome if I actually sink her. You know, I was planning on at least attempting to sink her later in the war. I'll just have to attempt to sink another, another battleship, I suppose.
Even though, if we do sink her here, she will appear in later scenarios. Uh, that's just a game limitation. But that's okay. Alright, let's go ahead and whip around. I'm debating speeding up now. Yeah, let's... Three knots. Three knots, three knots, three knots. Those look perfect, though. It's going to hit right underneath that uh, center superstructure here. Looks like as good a place as any. Let's go take a look at her. A nice close look before... Uh... Oh, there's searchlights going. I definitely know I'm here. I guess that change in speed really uh, gave it away. Such an awesome looking battleship, though. I just, I just love the the design of her. I love the way the uh, anti-aircraft guns look too. Even though they were not very good, <laughs> they're still pretty neat looking. All right, here we go. Cross your fingers. Oh wow, that was unexpected. Oh, one dud. Hey, but wow, five torpedo impacts, one dud. And we got a fire on board and a massive explosion, which is very surprising. I don't know if she's listing. Can't really tell. Oh, that was the torpedo detonating as it hit the seafloor. I think she is listing. It's really hard to tell. Wow, but what a... Oh, the crew on board. Yeah, I'm sure... I'm sure they're very happy about this. Oh, that fire's... Oh, I thought the fire was starting to pick up a little bit, but I don't think it is. It's just a little... They should be able to uh, extinguish that fairly easily. God, it's just so fat! <laughs> oh, man. I, it's massive. Well, we'll swing around and shoot four more torpedoes at her. And maybe that'll do it. Can... Whoa, what? What was that? Oh, that was probably the... <laughs> that scared me. That was probably our uh, Mark 18 running at slow speed. Or I forgot to set the speed setting on another one. I totally lost track of that. That one kind of hit in a different location, though. That's okay. Spread out the damage. Yeah, she's definitely listing from this little divot. You can tell she's getting lower in the water. All right, let's swing around. We're already at 120 degrees. We should be hunky-dory here for another attack. And this should put her under... I hope. Hey, only one dud though. That is very good in my book. Oh wow, she is not doing well at all. I don't even think... Maybe I should try to hit her and something else with these last two. Um, like one of these cruisers, possibly? No, I think I should just shoot four more at her, seal her fate, and just get the heck out of dodge. That is probably the best solution here. So, that is what I'll do. Should I shoot all four, though? She just does not look in very good shape. That's the reason I'm questioning this. I don't know. The dilemma. Double check. Perfect. Hmm. Problem is, I just don't see. Yeah, let's just finish her off and get out of dodge before these Japanese ashores show up. I'm sure all the uh, escorts are in or out here. So, okay, ready. 
Fire tube 7, fire tube 8, tube 9, and tube 10. All throwing torpedoes away. Let's get out of dodge. <laughs> oh, this is crazy though. I'm surprised that she, those torpedoes are uh, doing, having this much effect. She's just listing very heavily. Yeah, I probably could have shot only two more at her, but I just want to, I don't want to overstay my welcome. You know? Oh, this is going to be the end for her. Oops, I accidentally cut my recording. I definitely want to be recording this. As the final four torpedoes slam into the side of the Mighty Yamato. Let's see, what's our runtime? Still got a little while, I got another minute. Hopefully, we don't get another dud. If we get another dud, I might have to uh, reload and return. Because I'm not going to waste this much ordnance and not finish her off. Excuse me. Alright, looks like they're all going hot straight normal right into her. Let's see here. Let's get the perfect camera angle. Yeah. Alright. Two. <laughs> Another dud. Well, maybe that'll finish her. We're kind of hitting in the same place. Uh, theoretically, we would want to hit in different locations. Let's see here. Yeah, she pretty much just blasted a massive hole into the her side there. Let's see some time compression and see if she'll... Uh, I might have to reload. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, stern torpedo tubes. Reload now. I'll stop. And we'll lay in wait. Hopefully, uh, the destroyers don't show up now. <laughs> Not a good time. She is listening pretty heavily, though. Warship moving slow, bearing 151. Okay. Probably should check up on that, huh? Alright, well, let's go ahead and reload here. Tube 7 ready. Alright, all torpedo tubes are now reloaded. Let's start backing up. <laughs> uh, all right. This should definitely finish her. I'll try to spread them out a little bit. Perfect. Lock. And begin to close. Alright, that should be good here. Set up all of our torpedoes. Do 30 feet. Even though she is listing pretty heavily and uh, really low in the water, we could probably set them deeper, but I'll just keep 30 feet. Just, just in case. Set all of them to high. Mark. All of that should be good. All right, tube seven, fire.
All right, we'll shoot under the number one gun now. Fire two bait. Stack. Tube nine will go right for the smokestack. Tube ten, number three turret. Fire tube ten. All ahead standard. Where do we get the hell out of here now? Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, that'll be good. Get a nice little spread going. Yeah, let's just go standard and get the hell out of dodge. Little seagulls flying about. Hello. All right, that's gonna finish her off. I have no doubt about that. If that doesn't, then I'll be very surprised. But the Musashi took like 11 torpedo hits and plus like, what, nine bomb hits or something like that? I'm not too sure. I'm just spitballing here. I'm probably wrong. Uh, that's just from memory, but I'm sure I'll get corrected in the comments. I'll probably look it up before then, though. <laughs> uh, all right. So it looks like the spread is going nice. I would love to get one of these fleet carriers back here, too. Oh, they look like Shikaku classes. They're pretty low in the water, though. It looks like uh, they might be damaged as well. Oopsies. Oh, shit. Alright, let's pay attention to the main prize here. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. All these... Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright. There's the uh, third torpedo and getting secondaries in the rear. There's the one under number three turret. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think that might have done her in. Oh, all the alarms are now going off again. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's burning up. She's going down. Oh, it's official. Wow. She's kind of going down pretty quickly, too, for a ship of her size. And that is a lot of tonnage added to our score. An insane amount, honestly. Looks like she's going down stern first. I wonder if she'll roll over and go turtle. No, I don't think so. I don't, yeah. The stern decks are already awash. I don't know if we'll be able to see much down here. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can't really see it. I'm sure y'all are going to have a very difficult time. I'll try to brighten it up, but... Yeah, that's going to be a very difficult to raise. Alright, well... It's pretty hard to see under here. Let's see. Let's check our, our log. Yeah, 63,200 tons. All right, let's get the heck out of here, though. We're heading standard. There's no destroyers near us. I think that's all right. Okay, one is closing, however. We have two closing. All right, all ahead one-third. Yeah, escaping this is going to be an issue. I'm sure they are furious. 
that we sunk their their main battle wagon. But uh, let's go down to 90 meters so whenever we can avoid getting rammed. It's ramming my conning tower do a ton of damage, and this is what I was worried about doing this. Rig for silent running. Yeah, they're coming right at me. I mean, there's only one place I could really be, so if the uh, AI uses their brain, they're gonna get me. They're coming in hot. And I'm debating just going flank and trying to get out of here as quickly as possible. All right. Yeah, they're both going off to the... S whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? Oh my god. Uh, well, one of them's sinking. What did you do, dude? You hit a fish? I don't, I don't know what happened. I think uh, it laid a depth charge and accidentally blew itself up. Um, well, I'm not too worried about these little guys, honestly. Well, have fun turning into a submarine, I suppose. I don't blame you. You just saw how effective submarines can be against your your mighty battleship, so I don't blame you for trying. Alright, well, okay. <laughs> Guess I'm not as scared now that I know they're just little sandpans with depth charge racks. I mean, they're not really that. I am worried about this fella here that's just sitting at the mouth. That might cause a few issues. But overall, I think we will get away kind of scot-free. Until we reach this fella. Let's see if he's gonna get angry when we try to pass. I'm not gonna pay your toll. Do do do. Just waltz on by. They decide to take a picnic or something? Oh, it's just another little tugboat. With no depth charge rack. It's just a gunboat. Okay. Sure. That works with me. Well, let's get out of here. Run away! Alright, well that was... I would I would chalk that down as a success. Uh, we launched six... 14 torpedoes. And finally put her under. Secure from battle stations. Two of those were duds, however. And let's stay submerged for a little bit. Let's get a periscope depth. Got a warship in there. Up scope. Looks like the weather has gotten worse already. You can just tell from the sea conditions here. It's all gross. Yep. Alright, let's do a quick scan. Alright. Okay, wave. I see how it is. Let's do a quick scan, he says. And the waves do not want to play nicely with me today. Let's go ahead and surface this boat. Alright, I don't really... Nothing's right near us, so down scope, surface. Oh. Oh, that was very stressful. Thankfully, everything went okay and nothing went terribly wrong. Everything that went wrong happened, uh, well, before we actually made our our entrance. So, I mean, I suppose that's good. And up comes the USS Trout. Beautiful. Triumphantly. Now I'm kind of debating going back to port. But, alright, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Getting those radar contacts all ahead full. Let's just head due north and disengage completely and break off all contact here um, so I'll probably head to Tulagi to rearm and then head back out um, and see what kind of trouble we can raise since we only have four or five torpedoes left I think that will be uh, nice and we'll be heading back towards our old stomping grounds of the the slot and Bismarck Sea so I think that'll be a nice trip down memory lane. Uh, we'll see 
Hopefully. What the fuck is that? What the heck? <laughs> what is going on? Is that... I don't know if I want to sail towards that. It's like a... Giant needle. Okay. Um, let's avoid the paranormal. We're turning the opposite direction anyway, so... Yeah, let's uh, let's steer clear from that, <laughs> and um, we'll go ahead and head down to Tulagi, rearm the boat, and refuel as well. Fuel's not too bad. We're at 72 percent, but we've only used about a quarter of our fuel, which is surprising for seeing how far we've traveled off to Borneo and then over here from Australia. Yeah, not too shabby. We definitely have this boat. Definitely has legs. I will give her that. So. I'll head two-thirds and we'll set sail to Tulagi.